up guys welcome on back to another video here on TK's garage and today we're gonna do something a little bit different social distancing got my face and my nose now covered and we're gonna come look at some vehicles on the military a lot so let's go all right so let's see what's first what's first all right first on the list today this thing has been here for a while this is a Lancer Evo, they even have the original window sticker printed out for Mitsubishi here. You can see that this thing was 36,905 when it was brand new, right? It is a 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution GSR. Brembo brakes all the way around. Now it has been sitting for a while. Now you can tell that when you look at the um, brake uh the brake rotors here if you look at the brake rotors you can see lots of dust when you see that you know that a car has been sitting for a long time all right let's go up here and check out the next one so for most of you guys that don't know most of the vehicles that are here are for troops that have deployed overseas and they're now trying to sell these cars to basically like pay off their loans so this is a 2017 dodge challenger i apologize for the wind in advance guys it's blowing like 40 miles an hour there's nothing i can do um, this is a 2017 Dodge Challenger with the Hemi in it. Hemi engine, special high-performance tires, premium sound system, backup camera, Bluetooth. They want $26,999 for this one. It doesn't look bad. It's just a challenge. It's just a basic Challenger, though. I mean, it's got a Hemi. It does have a Hemi. At least it's not a V6. At least it's not a V6. So you could probably do some things to it. I don't know if it's worth that, that amount, though. All right. Now... Here's one that I know somebody would be super interested. Shout out to my dude Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds. This is a police performance or police pursuit vehicle, I believe is how they say it. Police pursuit vehicle. And this is a Dodge Charger Police Pursuit Hemi 5.7 liter V8 with 370 horsepower meticulously maintained by the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. 104,000 miles. They're asking 11.5 or best offer. Wow. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about this? I was thinking about doing something a little different just outside of Copart things. And what if I bought a couple of troops cars and paid the notes off what do you guys think all right there's that one there's a couple of them that i'm actually interested in here today and then this is actually a very good example this is a 1997 jeep wrangler with the 4.0 liter and it's a five speed now if you don't know that 4.0 inline six is probably probably one of the most reliable engines that jeep or chrysler period has ever produced i, I had a cherokee with uh 200 and something thousand miles on it the regular box cherokee back in the day and i've had friends that have had those cherokees with over 400 thousand miles on them just absolutely ridiculous ridiculous let me come over here and we got a jeep grand cherokee they want 3500 for this one i wonder what kind of motor this has the rims and tires just ruin it for me though lion heart tires i don't i don't know man these rims and stuff they just ruin it for me uh 2000 jeep uh a 2000 i mean it's clean the paint looks good somebody's painted it you know it's been maintained 3500 or best offer i don't know what motor it has though they don't disclose that and that's kind of the risk you know a 2000 you can see it needs an alignment look at the tires tires are all ate up but 3500 bucks so you can find some decent deals especially during tax time out here but this is the one i'm highly interested in dun, dun, dun. <laughs> all right let's go back this e350 mercedes might be the first one we buy from the military lot i actually like this one it looks extremely clean right paint's not uh clear coat's not cracking or peeling anywhere right they're asking 4500 no accidents clean title in hand it has an amg upgrade package 154,000 miles on it with the 3.5 liter v6 which makes what 260 
208, I believe, 270 horsepower. Yeah, 268. Seven speed automatic with overdrive and touch shift, so it's got paddles. Torque converter is showing sign. Uh oh, cons. Torque converter is showing signs of wear. Mild shutters occasionally. It has never let me strand. Like the minute, at least he's honest, okay? He or she, whoever it is. At least the troop is honest. At least the soldier is honest that it's selling this car. Like the transmission, the, the torque converter is starting to fail uh, on this car. Luckily, People would might think, you know, replacing the torque converter on, on this would be outrageously expensive. Sometimes it's really not the torque converter. People will say it's a torque converter, but it's not. You got some scrapes here on the rear quarter on the bumper. The rims look good. I don't really see them all eat, ate up. They're not really curb rashed. Um, it's pretty clean. I mean, the interior, the leather seats look really good as well. Look at that. I mean, is it open? No. It's really clean. It looks really clean. Up oh, curb rash on these rims. But it's not horrible. You could get that fixed, you know. You could get that fixed. It's clean. It's not bad. The headlights aren't completely fogged out. You can see somebody sanded them and clear coated them before. It's not horrible. It could be it could be serviceable. It could be one that I that I deal with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys would like to see this one right here. Ooh-wee! Is this one for sale? <laughs> Look, the Mamba, I gotta be careful. I can't be looking at this one too too crazy. The Mamba might get jealous. Damn. Look at those rims on that Yukon though. See, I would like those in black. If I could get those painted black and put my Chevy emblems in them, I would rock that with some bigger tires on the Mamba all day. SLT, Yukon. This one's clean as F, man. I always like the Yukon taillights more than I like the Tahoes, too. I don't know. I think GM... And maybe I'm right. Maybe GMC is the more luxurious model of, uh, you know, when it comes to Chevy or, or GMC. Everything else looks exactly the same. They want 36... Okay. They want 30... It's got 61,160 miles. They want 36,800. Hmm. 36,800. What year is this? 2016 huh huh let me know what you guys think i think this is really clean i i couldn't do the chrome though i, I had it has to be blacked out but see i'm already attached to the mamba and the mamba's got less miles you know we're only sitting on i ain't talking about the coach less miles i'm talking about less miles period the mamba's only got twenty five thousand miles on her so i don't know i don't know if i could do that all right we got a BMW. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's an M Sport. I was like, I saw that rim for a minute. I saw that logo. I had to look. Somebody's curb rashed the shit out of that rim, though. Look at this rim. Oh, ouch. 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 All right, let's see. What are they asking for this? This is a 2015 BMW 335i, uh, fully loaded. One owner, 14500 and it is negotiable. Look at that. Yeah, you guys can pause the video if you see the phone numbers. If you see an owner in here or a soldier that you'd want to buy one of their cars, go ahead and hit them up. You know, try to work out a deal with them. This is this car is in a really clean condition, if you ask me. It looks really clean. 2015, 14 5. This looks good. I mean, the rims are curb rashed. Every single one of them are curb rashed. Look, every single one is curb rashed in multiple spots. So somebody doesn't know how to park on the curb. I don't know. Maybe they got it like that, but geez. Now you can get those repaired. They're not difficult to have those sanded and painted. Now the headlight lenses, this is, you can tell it's been sitting. When it sits in the sun for a long time, you get these cracks in the lenses like this you see this and it only gets worse over time this is not something that you're going to sand out you're going to have to replace those lenses now watch somebody come in the comments you can sand those out tk i, I, I get it it's never going to look right so these have to be replaced eventually you could get you could get away with them right now they're only oxidating on the top and it looks i mean overall the car looks pretty good well let's look and see if that gt500 is still here you know, I see the Buick, that Buick, uh, that Buick is still sitting here. See, it's interesting to come back and see if they've lowered the prices down over time. You know, 
this one they still want 5300 for it pass <laughs> sorry i ain't being disrespectful i'm just being honest pass all right what's up with this jeep oh this one's on see now here's a here's a little deal it's a Jeep jeep grand cherokee they want two thousand dollars for this truck two thousand bucks it's a 2004 look at that they want two thousand dollars for this jeep that's not bad average market price for it is right there right has new tires and shocks look at that brand new bf good wrench tires and shocks so this would be a decent little get around car two thousand bucks four by four look at that and it's a four-wheel drive got a little ding right there with a crack in the paint hey man this would not be a bad little car bad little jeep for somebody got a sirius xm radio in it already interior doesn't look too bad huh there you go guys there you go if you're interested in it for two thousand bucks you happen to be out here in carolina here's the information right there east bragg auto skills okay i don't know what that means but all right oh and that's gonna get us oh what do they want for this they want twenty one thousand dollars for this toyota fj cruiser how many miles 171 thousand miles is that are these really worth 21 grand let me know in the comments no way no way this thing's worth 21,000 bucks no way come on man you got to be kidding me $21,000 no way I mean the airborne stickers are cool all the way I don't know man what do you guys think is it worth 21 grand oh well, we got some bikes a Harley Davidson I know my bike squad is going to be like ooh what $4,600? What is this? This is a Sportster 1200. They want $4,600. It was $4,800. $4,600 for this Harley Davidson right here. Look at this. Do not try to open the saddlebags. They are locked. Huh. It's a pretty bike. It is a pretty bike. Let's see what other bike. I got they got a couple other bikes here. We'll check those out and then we'll check out the we'll check out the beast that's still over here if they've came down on price on that or not. Look at this one. This is a Honda 2001 Honda Shadow Ace. 2000 bucks for this one. Oof. Got a lot of rust on that. A lot of rust on that frame. Oof. I don't know, man. I'm sure it runs and drives, you know, rides pretty decent, but mm -mm, not me. We got a crotch rocket. We got a Ninja 650, 650 Ninja for sale, 2016 Ninja 650, 6,500 or best offer. Garage kept full service, completed with new battery. It's a nice, nice bike. It's a nice bike. And then we got this other Harley Davidson, this 1200. Nice and pretty. Mm. They want 5900 for this one. Comes with helmet, single seat, outdoor cover, and phone mount. 5900 are best offer for this 09 Harley Nightster 1200cc. Huh. So for my bike people that want a bike that's not wrecked, there you go. Which brings me to this Cobra mustang gt 500 svt <laughs> yo they still want forty two thousand dollars for this here's all of the uh stuff on it all right ford racing oval throttle body corsa sport axle pulley 2.4 inch pulley with idler gen 2 throw shifter upgraded plugs catch cans tail light sequencer 686 rear wheel horsepower and 710 pound of torque damn Woo! man there it is if y'all are interested in this y'all need to hit this owner up right here man 
this thing right here, boy. GT500, baby. Damn. I got to be honest. This, this is just so clean, man. I just can't see myself paying 42 grand for this car. I don't know, man. You know what, though? I just can't, man. Not when I can, not with the supercar I could buy with that money. I just, mmm. 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 Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I just wanted to give you guys a little, little walk around here on the military lot. Cars change here all the time. Here's an 05 Harley Davidson. Garage kept 3,000 miles, asking 7,900. Hmm. Here's a Harley Davidson for 7,900, guys. Well, I just wanted to give you guys a, a brief idea of what is available here. <laughs> Damn it, my mask won't stay up. On the military lot. Um, you can find some really good deals out here. It's not it's not bad at all. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If there's any of them that you guys were uh, super interested in or any ones that you guys think uh, I should buy. Can you hear the mambo? Mm. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and you like what I do, make sure to click that big thumbs up button. Shout out to everybody that's out there doing the social distancing and wearing your mask. And uh, post pictures of yourself wearing your mask at Walmart or other places and tag me with it on Instagram at TK's Garage. <laughs> Look, I'm out here starting things. Anyways, thank you guys very much for tuning in. And until next time, catch you guys on the next one.